Hi there everyone, it's Sarah here and I have a little tutorial for you today and it's for a post-it note holder with the um, pen attachment at the side. I made this one and I kind of did it in masculine colours and I've used patterned paper, stamps, washi tape and of course your post-it note holder. So that's just the inside cover and the back I've left plain. I'm going to make a modification to the the next one that I'm going to make because I had a little idea um, so I'll share that with you when I come to it. So let's get to it. You're going to need um, a scoring board and you're going to need for the cover of your post-it note holder a piece of cardstock that is cut to seven and a half inches by three and a half inches and we're going to be putting that into the scoring board and we're going to be scoring it at um, three and an eighth, three and a half, and three and seven eighths. Now what I'll do is I'll put these measurements along the bottom of the screen, kind of just, oops, down here for you. So um, that's the scoring part done. These are really quick to put together. Um, so what you want to do is, this is going to be my front cover, so what you want to do is you want to fold it on the middle score line, there, like it was going to be going inside out, and just give that a little a little score with your um, bone folder. Then what you want to do is you want to fold it, hold on to the middle part and, uh, and fold these two parts back. And then just give that a little score down here. Okay. Now, fold it back flat again. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making an incision down here to create the holder for the pen. So what you want to do is take your scissors and cut to the line. Just up to that little line there, if you can see there. And then you want two cuts because this is where your pen is going to be folded in through. So what you want to do is open it back up again and just pop that out. You can see that. So that pops out like that. So this is going to be the back and this is the front. It's slightly shorter. But when you pull it forward, it's it more or less comes... You'll see it better on this one. You're left with a little lip but that allows you to open it up fine like that. So that's the basis of your, your holder. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to put a little bit of tape down this inside edge here. Um, double sided tape is fine. So I'm just going to take a little piece of that just run it down this inside edge. You don't put any on the bit that pops out for the post-it note holder, for the, not the post-it note holder, for your pen. So I'll just show you that just now. So you want to run a little bit of tape just along that edge there. Because what we're going to do is we're going to push that down, pop that one out and push that down and seal it so that It doesn't move. Okay, so let's just remove the tape. And push that down. And there we go. So that sticks that down there and then this bit will just pop out. There we go. Okay so now we can decorate it and I've cut out a piece of patterned paper here for the front and this is measuring three inches by three and three eighths of an inch so I'm just going to go ahead and put some um, double sided tape down here. And then we'll get that stuck on the front. 
The next step what we'll do is we'll, we'll pop in our post-it note holder so this just gets um, popped in right up against that back edge of the um, of your post-it note holder so let's just pop some tape down on this in fact I like to use a little bit of the two inch tape just pop that along that back there there we go and then we're just going to make sure that you're kind of level and just pop that in there we go and that's your post-it note holder in and all that's kind of the, the one tip that I was going to do that I didn't do on this one and I thought hmm I wonder if this would work I cut out a section of fun foam you know how you get the kiddies fun foam and I thought if I put some of that on the back there that's going to stop that from slipping um, so that was my idea and I was going to put some of that on so I'm going to go ahead and do that next And I've not actually planned, apart from cutting out some little feathers, um, what I'm going to do with the front and how I'm going to decorate it. So um, we can work that out next. You could, of course, put this on with a wet glue if you wanted just to make sure that it holds but this is score tape I'm using so it should be fine I might just put a little bit of wet glue in the middle remember which way this goes. It's that way. There we go. So I'm just going to pop that down there. And what that does is it gives you a non-slip surface. And it lets you use up all the the fun foam if you've got a stash of that because uh, I know I kind of bought loads recently um, so all we need to do now is pop our pen on here now what I've done is I've got little paper me ink joy pens and uh, they come in multiple colours and I thought I would just um, pop a little um, pop a little pink one in here and you can see that the pens fit in just nicely and at the side there and, and all that, that I need to do now is just decorate this top part but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing with it I thought about putting some washi tape on this is the Tim Holtz tissue tape just to create a bit of a background and 
I thought I'll just pop some pieces on here. That's not straight. just to break it up a little bit so that's a little bit of tissue tape on there and I thought about putting some little um, feathers on here but I don't know or maybe just a couple there um, I'll pop them on with uh, dimensional adhesive and we can see what else we can put on it so I'll just pop that onto the back of there just now and I'll have a look and see what else I've got that we can put on. In fact, I might just put some string on it wound up. And there we go. Just some messy string. Go. and I might just pop a little bit of glue under this at certain points just to hold it down there we go I'll just pop some glue at the background there because I'm going to pop these um, little feathers on so they should keep that in place with the little dimensionals so I'll pop them there and we can always pull this out a little bit and modify it there we go and I've got some enamel dots here. I'll just pop a couple of these on. This one, I'm going to have to tuck that in there. That's better. And a smaller one up here, and another one in there. There we go. So that's the front of the post-it note holder. I'm going to find something else to pop here um, and I'll be back in a second once I've found what I'm looking for. There we go and that's that finished. I just used a little bit of um, one of the Tim Holtz ideology line in the small talk and just put that little make-a-wish in there. So that's my little um, post-it note holders. I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. Um, and uh, these are really easy to make and good gift ideas. Great stocking stuffers with it coming up to Christmas or for Halloween if you don't want to give out sweets or candy to the kids, make them little post-it note holders with a little pen and just hand them out. Fairly inexpensive to do, just uses a little bit of patterned paper, some cardstock and little pens. Um, so there we have it. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you all soon with another tutorial. Bye for now.